Hi everybody, welcome to our new uh, Wellstream video. My name is Remy and I'm your host. Today we're going to attack our own website with the DDoS attack. Uh, Ravi and Mike are going to help me with it and I hope I still have my job tomorrow after the attack. Mike is going to attack a website. Hi Mike, uh, what's a DDoS attack? A DOS attack? A, a DOS attack is a denial of service attack. That is an attack where one server or computer sends a lot of data to a, an endpoint. Okay, and how many data are you going to send? Um, at first we will try it with uh, a single 10 gigabit. Okay. So I will start this attack now. Um, as you can see, it will start sending around uh, 7 uh, gigabits of raw data towards the server. Hi Ravi, is the victim website still working? Well, Remy, it doesn't seem to be responding too well, actually. As you can see, it's still, uh, still loading. Because Mike is busy with his attack again. Uh, why do, does the attack succeed? Because we have a Worldstream uh, defense system, right? <laughs> That's correct. Uh, but for this test, we uh, I actually disabled the, the protection just to see uh, if Mike would uh, be able to get through. Okay, great. Once you uh, initiate the second server, it will start to becoming a DDoS attack, a distributed um, denial of service attack, in which the uh, traffic comes from a distributed uh, source. Why, why does it bother the victim? Um, because the server will probably get overloaded and will not longer respond to any other outside commands. Do we have to do something special to uh, get this high performance? Yes, on Linux we need to bypass the kernel by DKDB. Um, in that sense, um, we are talking directly with the network adapter and uh, skipping the kernel in the OS. Okay, great. Um, as you can see, by the way, on the screen that's oh, the uh, on the left, website. the victim website is no longer responding. And it's because it's overflowed with your traffic. Uh... Yes, that's indeed the case. Is there a website we can attack which uh, guarded by the World Shield? Uh, you could try our website. Okay. Um, let's see how Mike fares with that one. Okay, great. Mike, can you attack the Worldstream website? Yes. It seems to work. Ravi, is the Worldstream website still working? Let's give it a try. Yep, it's still up. And I can see that Mike is doing his best to uh, try to take it down. But uh, it seems like our uh, anti DDoS cluster is picking up the attack and mitigating it as we speak. So we can see the attack in your uh, graphics. Yes, yeah, so let's I'll, I'll pull up the graphs here. Um, over here on this side, you can see the traffic coming in in real time. Um, you can see it's uh, just above 10 gigs, so I estimate about uh, 13 gigabits per second. Um, and what are the colors in your uh, graphics? Uh, different colors. Um, so these are. Uh, this shows how the DDoS cluster is operating. So uh, we have uh, an array of uh, filtering nodes, as it were, and each of these colors uh, signifies that, that the traffic is being distributed over uh, one of the clusters in the array. So one different color is a different server. And can you and also see well. what's filtered in your screen? Uh, yes, we have a different graph here for the clean traffic. So the dirty traffic, again, is just under 15 gigabits per second, which is quite a lot. And uh, traffic being passed through uh, to the actual server, uh, called the clean traffic, is just about 500 megabits. So that's a substantial decrease. Okay. And is there something a client has to do uh, if he is uh, attacked? Do does he have to enable World Shield or is it automatically detected that the attack is incoming? Uh, yes, um, it's on by default for our clients. We don't have to configure anything. Uh, we have a sensor running in the background which continuously monitors uh, the traffic uh, coming in into our, uh, into our network. Uh, once the sensor detects the attack uh, coming in, uh, it will uh, divert traffic and point it towards our cluster. Uh, and inside our cluster, we have an array of mitigating servers, uh, which each get a piece of the attack. Uh, and therefore, they don't get overloaded at once. Uh, and one of the nice things about the setup is that we can 
scale it out horizontally. So if in the future we need some more mitigating capacity, you can just add on to the existing, uh, existing array and basically just extend the, the setup that we have, uh, which won't cost us too much uh, effort, basically. Just add, uh, add more onto it. Um, and as you can see, uh, the graphs show it that the traffic gets distributed pretty evenly. So in case we need more capacity in the future, it'll just get added and um, we can keep going on. Great, I'm glad we handled this attack. Yep. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you really liked it. So if you do so, please like and share it with your friends. If you have any questions regarding the subject we just discussed, you can always leave a question or a remark in the, the comments below. And uh, if you really, really like our WorldStream channel, go and subscribe to us and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.